This is a quick recording to show how the uh, outcomes are managed on Canvas. So I'm uh, using this as a practice site to learn how to do things before trying to do anything with Learn. Um, so uh, in clicking on Learn, uh, uh, the, excuse me, the outcomes here, uh, you see I have two uh, major headings here under the outcomes. So what you'll get to see is the way that I've built these up. These represent the two uh, sets of goals from the HAPS. Um, and when I click on the first one here, you should see the text of that. And uh, again, for the broader goals. And then you can see that I have the goals 1 through 8 listed under the first one and 9 through 11 would be under the second one. And what I've done here is, uh, and I'm going to take you through the, the tree, if you want to call it that, of how these are put together and the time and effort just to get them input. So this is what would be nice if we use them in Learn and um, uh, someone else uh, puts them in for us. So you can see popping up below here, I've got Module C, for the chemistry in the cell, which I do in the first part of the neuroendocrinology, and then the uh, module J for endocrinology. So it's this mod and J or C and endo or cell and chem. Um, and then I've numbered these topics. And then these are the learning outcomes and you can see the cognitive levels and then the learning goals. So basically where we start is um, the two global sets of, uh, of goals and then each individual goal and then so for one here if you scan down any place you see knowledge and the knowledge is the only one I'm going to show you then um, we'll follow that tree all the way from goal on out to these which would be the learning modules right so a learning module of mod j endo three uh, dash one is referring to this one under uh, knowledge. It'll also have to be entered under comprehension. Then I'll try to show you how um, Canvas manages the clustering of questions to be assigned to each learning uh, outcome. Uh, I'll need to look at Learn to see whether it lets you assign individual questions to individual outcomes or if you have to cluster them into a separate uh, pool is the term used in learn. Anyway, there's a whole tactic to how you organize your questions to follow into these uh, categories if you're using the online system to assess some of these, regardless of what, you know, what type of question you're using, multiple choice all the way up through, you know, um, research article, research report, excuse me, or uh, uh, research proposal uh, for a graduate class. Anyway, um, so let's uh, follow this out. So we're going to goal one, and I've got the text here for the goal, so I'm copying that and pasting it. We go to knowledge, and then I'm uh, from the definitions, let's see, the glossary. I come in here, and under knowledge, I'm getting the level of thinking. Of course, it somehow needs to be broken down into all of these as well, um, and that gets uh, a bit tricky. You know, how do you break these down and the amount of time it takes to put these in? I've worked on this just to get it this far. Uh, probably five, six hours, you know, three or four days in a row, one to two hours. Um, a, a lot of reworking to figure out how to do it. Now, each of these has to be set up for each of the 11 goals. And... Uh, um, and then again, for over on this side, for each goal, each module. So if we adopted all the modules, uh, then you'd have to see all of those. Anyway, let's follow through. Knowledge, module C, uh, the uh, topic number two. So it should be two, chemical bonding. And then two... Uh, one, there's only one in here, and A is the knowledge, so that's the one, this wording here, this, and then this uh, should be here. 
with respect to nonpolar covalent antibonds, list each type of bond. Okay, so that's done for each of these. Um, what I've started doing now is going down through, see which ones have goal one. Oops. Just skimming through which ones have goal one and knowledge, and then I'm starting to complete this part of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm having a few issues with this, but I'm working with the, the help desk at Canvas to figure it out, but uh, it's coming together. Um, then what you do uh, is once those are in place you can go to a uh, here we can manage question database data banks whatever they're called <coughs> um, then here I can go to chapter one seeing this is where there's a problem I've got all my questions for chapter one in here there's not a lot of them uh, but you'd have to separate them out to fit to a particular outcome so here's my set, goal one, knowledge, I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to pick this one here, and then we import that. And I've set the mastery level, of course, for graduate course, I'm going to change that to 80, but that can be uh, worked with. And it has you confirm it. So now all the questions in here are feeding only to that learning module. You can add more, but it won't do a breakdown of which question goes to which. So within Canvas, this is a limitation. And I, I don't know what it would be in Learn, but every one of them is going to have some type of limitation. This one is just how you organize your questions. Um, and then they get assigned here. If you're doing this with several classes, then once this work is done, you just create it somewhere that everybody has access to it if there's multiple sections. Um, and then they can use these questions to make up their assessments, their exams and things. Uh, and then the reporting is uh, something later, but I just wanted to take you to this part of it to let you see how it, how it will have to be structured somewhere to follow that full level of outcomes all the way to say, are you meeting your goals? And even in these subcategories, um, if that's the level of tracking that you want, I want to play with it here. I'm going to have the students, since this is small enrollment, I'm going to have some students uh, do a few things here, at least a couple of tests, my pre-tests I call them, uh, just to learn how to do it. This is not easy. It's very challenging. And we're not even talking about trying to do the reports yet, right? You know, so how do you extract information from this that's meaningful and useful? Anyway, I'll stop there and uh, send this off to you.